What's going on y'all and welcome back to another AFK Journey video. In the last one, we discussed kind of a surface level view of AFK Journey, looking at the mechanics, the animations, the awesome story, voice acting, music, all that uh, kind of basic stuff. But since then, I have been absolutely addicted. The official launch happened not too long ago, just a few days. So if you're not already playing this amazing gem of a game, use the links in the description below to get some gems, some gold. I'm going to tell you why you need to be start playing right now because of tons of amazing login events, free rewards, mail, goodies, all that. And then, of course, share with you guys my progress, tips and tricks, get you guys uh, off the ground and running. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's talk some AFK Journey. Just a quick recap, if you didn't watch the last video, AFK Journey's official launch happened on March 27th across various countries and regions. And you can freely download this game on iOS, Google Store for mobile and on AFK's Journey official website if you want to play the PC version like I'm doing here. Now additionally, and I'll talk about some other login reward stuff when we go over progression other game modes, but one of the biggest things happening right now during the official release is AFK Journey is giving away more than 40 heroes of all qualities including epic heroes for free allowing players to experience the full range of combat strategies at no cost no joke that's as good as it sounds you're going to be given so many free heroes even some of the best ones in the entire game all for free just for logging in just for playing the game i think this is one of the most generous if not the most generous reward systems i've seen from a launch of a game in general now on top of that too afk journey will be giving away all the heroes gradually and furthermore by logging in for seven days and participating in various events players can get 200 plus draws for free if you can see here i've already gotten some of those i even got a skin yesterday for one of the characters and at the end of this you're going to be able to choose uh one of four epic heroes from a selector chest there's a lot more uh, login events included with this there's some mail being given out for free gems free summons just for uh generosity because the game is doing so well so this is the best time this is the time you need to start playing right now and with all this explained on the table if you aren't already hyped and you're not already using the promo codes that i'm going to include for you in the description below as well then I don't know what's going to get you on board. So those of you that are uh, sold, come join me. I'm going to talk about why I've been loving the game, things I've been experiencing, and help you guys out if you're going to get started right now. Okay, moving on from all the freebies and amazing stuff you'll be receiving for playing right now, let's look at my progress, what I've been loving about the game. First, let's talk team compositions and you know team building. I want to cover real briefly just the faction bonuses. Just give you guys some quick tips. Um, because I think this will be what most of you will spend your time on, at least in the beginning, while you fig figure out and feel the game. Um, I am at power level 298k just to show you how addictive this game is and how much I've been playing. I'm sure some people are way farther than me, but since the game's only been out, I think this is a good showcase that I'm absolutely loving it. I think I'm also on floor 209 for the AFK part where you get your resources, but enough about that. Let's talk shop here. Uh, the teams you're going to want to start out with, we're going to want to focus on maximizing our faction bonuses as well as having a good rounded composition. For me right now, I have Thorin, who is a tank, one of the best, if not the best tank currently in the game. On Tondra, as a backup tank, this one gets swapped out a lot. This is like my flex, flex spot. This is a DPS position, which normally... I think I need to swap this out here. This is a mauler named Odie, but usually I'm using Viperion, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. I have my support, my healer in uh, Smoking Mirky, and then Cecia, who I want, actually want to start this conversation with y'all. Every single one of you watching will receive this character for free on your first 10 pull. This is not including all the other good uh, summons and free stuff you're going to get. All of you will get this for free. No random uh, pulls required. Cecia is amazing. She is a Graveborn, so take note of that. Faction, she's a Ranger Marksman, and she summons with her ultimate, Mr. Carlisle, who's a giant zombie. Puts an extra body in the field. He can tank. He can do extra damage. This character will carry a lot of y'all throughout the uh, entire game if needed. She's just so strong, and I don't think she falls off too hard anytime soon. Um, so most of y'all will be using her. So let's try to maximize and build a team around her. So she's Graveborn Faction, right? Let's try to go for three bonuses you will get more let's say if you have four graveborn if you have five graveborn or five maulers five anything you'll get maximized bonuses however that's going to lock you into certain characters and some factions are lacking in either the tank department the healer department i think the sweet spot is having three bonus and then a two set bonus that gives you the most versatility and lets you swap things in and out very very easily a lot of flexibility so let's start with cc we have one damage healer graveborn faction Next, I have a second damage dealer here with Viperion, and the nice thing is he is a lower rarity. Uh, he doesn't start as epic rank. This was duped up. I, I gave him some duplicate copies to make him here, uh, but he is very common. We'll talk wish list right after this, and I'll help you guys pick something nice. 
but he is just our mage damage dealer. He'll give us a faction bonus with Cecia. And then last but not least, I touched on Thorin. Now this is, uh, he. some of you guys may not be able to get this guy right off the bat, but eventually you will probably pick him up. Not probably, very likely if you are playing right now with all the heroes given out, you will get this guy eventually. But those of you that don't receive Thorn early, you might have to try a different comp, which I will try to cover as well. But Thorn, if you can see here, I got to Mythic Plus. This was a lot of duplicates. This is going to lock his Hatred Blade, his EX weapon, which every character will get once you hit a certain threshold of um, duplicate copies of the character. And on top of that too, it doesn't necessarily mean duplicates. You can use these other, uh, what do you call them, faction tokens. The Graveborn Acorns for this Graveborn faction. And that'll also let you get copies of the character if you want to upgrade and prove them. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to summon Thorn himself. But this gives me a tank, two damage dealers, right, of the Graveborn faction. So we're getting a nice set, uh, stat bonus. And then to top that off, I have my healer here in the form of Smokey and Mirky. He is amazing. Just be careful because his heal ultimate is kind of a shorter range but if you can keep your units uh tightly packed i think his heal per second his healing output is bar none uh second to none i should say and then i have on tundra as my secondary tank now i talked guys if you don't have thorn for example i actually didn't have thorn at the start of the game either so i started with on and i had a more mauler centric comp what i mean by that is i had let's go ahead and just talk um loosely here entendre was my tank i didn't have thorn yet and so i was using something like Odie instead this is a single top uh single tank setup with a three mauler faction bonus i have my support healer here with smoky and mirky Odie, the range damage dealer cc the range damage dealer and then i have viperian as a range damage dealer as well this will maintain the three uh three mauler plus two graveborn faction setup and i can swap things in and out right now i've been liking two tanks right here just to protect my back line as Cecia and Viperion have been enough damage for me but your mileage may vary depending on what content you're doing so hopefully this kind of just gives you guys a rough overview don't neglect the faction bonuses and try to have a balanced comp between your front line tanks and then your back line damage dealers make sure you revolve around your support being um, good enough so Smokey and Mirky I mentioned is very strong but units like Hewen here or Rowan for example let me show you guys them right now are also ones you might have access to but if you use these two units you might want to swap out for different faction bonuses Rowan being light bear and he being wilder right so for Rowan just a quick example and last thing and then we'll talk about wish list but for let's say I had Rowan and I didn't have smoking Mirky I would still maybe run the three Graveborn faction setup and then right here for Entendre, let's get rid of the Maulers. I could either swap in Lucius if I want a second tank or swap this out for Vala a very nice you know um, damage dealer that can target the back lines etc so i think this 3-2 setup has a lot of flexibility once again if you don't have thorn if you don't have one of these don't worry just try to maintain the overall guidelines on balancing both stat bonuses as well as a balanced composition of tanks damage dealers and support next let's quickly talk about the wish list it's just a function i want you guys to be aware of in case you haven't encountered this in other games it's gonna help you narrow down and really pinpoint characters that you might want to get since the hero pool is quite large we really want to maximize our chances at getting what we want now if you don't know what you want you can kind of copy either my wish list here or one you find online actually uh don't copy mine yet because i've been swapping things in and out let me see here real fast i think the only thing you want to change is since i already had rowan i swapped out for a character i don't have access to but i believe um both my epic and the purple quality units here are the ones you should be gunning for if you're a more power gamer type of player once again if you are more casual if you're just a collectionist you can really just pick whatever you want and you'll still have some very nice progression this is just if you're more like me and want to progress as fast as possible try to pick up the units that are very strong and will carry you throughout the game so I talked about the Graveborn ride and how porn Thorn is. I'm keeping him here because I want more and more dupes until he's maxed out. If you guys want to get like Igor just to round out your pool, if you just like him, please be my guest and go for it. But as you can see here, I'm going for dupes with Cecia. And since the game is being so generous, I'm hoping I'll be able to pick these up in general as well because they are giving out access to, I think, almost all the heroes, if not all of them, depending on how long you play or when you start playing right now. Now, one last thing I want to talk about is in the purple row here. These are very important too, as units like Odie, who I mentioned before, is one of the best, if not probably the best purple quality character. He might even be better than a lot of the epics in terms of damage dealing. And so this is a great way, since the purple quality units are much more common than the epics, you'll be able to get a lot of dupes and this will really accelerate your power. So don't 
uh, slack here and make sure you're picking up powerful dupes that will help accelerate your team comp. I talked about Viperion. I want more of him. He's very good. I think this rogue also for the Graveborn factions is much better than the other two options. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to copy this, feel free and then just tailor it as you get more heroes and fulfill whatever your account is uh, needing. And finally, don't forget as well, there is a wish list for the epic recruitment. Uh, this guy should not be here. I think I had, who did I have in his spot? Um, let's go for the grand, the granny. I think, oh no, I'm sorry. It's, it's still gotta be big man Thorin. But if you can see here, guys, just like in my hero, normal hero wish list, I want to still get some dudes for CC and Thorin. If you guys want to just collectionist, I'm missing a lot of the characters here, but I'm hoping I'll be able to pick them up with all the free heroes being given out. Play it how you want. Just make sure you're aware of this. So you are maximizing, at least tailoring it to your own experience, your own gameplay and, uh, picking characters that you actually want to get it really depends if you're trying to go for dupes or if you're just trying to round out and try to as many different heroes as possible for me for progression for power gaming i'd recommend going for dupes because they are super powerful in this game unlocking additional abilities and ex weapons etc but right here i have thorn cc he win a very good healer this smaller guy is a great all-rounder damage healer and then it's smoking mirky uh, of course for my healer support this a level apparently you can still choose some a level heroes here But that will take away a character But honestly if you're missing or don't need some it says you'll still get an epic hero um, Even if you have this in the pool, maybe that'll just maximize the amount of um, We'll call the epic heroes you can get so I might actually try this like for example to get OD dupes um, In case but yeah uh, be careful on that. I haven't tested it just yet. I'm sure someone out there has confirmed it, but this might be something else to min max additionally. Last but not least, I want to talk about the different game modes that I've experienced that I didn't get to in my first video and just really show the depth and how much content there is even in the later stages of AFK Journey. Starting with the Dream Realm, you'll be fighting uh, different world bosses. Think of like boss modes in other games. where you are going to try to figure out which units work best because some of them do different abilities. You'll get insane rewards. You really want to push yourself to clear the entire boss or place as high as you can because because the higher you place here against your peers, everybody competes, you'll get better rewards. You want to continually progress and push your limits. Honored Wall, I think this is one of the best things about AFK Journey. And I love when games have access to this. This is puts this puts any of you PvPers out there watching on an even playing field. No matter if the guy you're fighting has spent tens of thousands of dollars, if you are free to play, um, you can still beat him because everyone is on an even playing field. Uh, you're just gonna use your skill, your strategies. Uh, better uh, decision making abilities throughout the honor duel in terms of outplaying your opponent this is replayable content this is pvp for players that don't want to or don't have access to all the resources and high level characters with all the dupes i think this is a great great mode for afk journey if you just like regular pvp if you want to stomp other players and show off how good your account is then there is of course the normal arena which gives great rewards on top of it battle drills this is one of my favorite features this is a guild section and by the way baka 7 we are full this is my guild at the top um if you guys are on server 7 stop by to my live streams i think i will be starting to um if anyone's inactive i'll be replacing them so if you guys do need a guild uh you feel free to come check and join me if we have space Otherwise, please just make sure you get in a guild in general, no matter what server you're on, because there is so many good rewards here. Not only is it fun, but I believe this is one of the best ways to get access to some of the strongest characters and rarest characters in the game. Now, beyond that, I think the last few to talk about is the Arcane Labyrinth, a roguelike mode where you can venture in, get power ups and really try and keep your units alive as they have one life. Amazing rewards once again. You really want to build a bond, build upon the uh, previous floors and just keep getting bonuses to complete the labyrinth. Last but not least, this is where I am suffering a little bit because as I mentioned, I'm going for dupes of specific characters. This is where you're going to need to use your mono faction team. So Tower of Light, you can only use the uh, light bears. For Tower of Nature, only the wilders. So the wider your roster is, for those of you that are collectionists, this is where you'll really shine and where I'm going to be struggling a little bit. But these are only open on certain days. This adds and forces you to use specific characters and really, really test uh, how good you are without using your main comp. But overall, guys, I can't stress enough how good of a time it is to play AFK Journey. Not only are there amazing rewards right now, there is something for literally everybody between the PvP modes, between the PvE, the collectionist, the story, the music. I think you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't try this out right now. Use my code once again in the description. I'll put in a ton of promo codes. Don't miss out. Get all the free characters and resources. And thank you so much, as always, for watching. Thank you to uh, AFK Journey for sponsoring us. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.